I'm Mark Drew, Chairman of Unimec Aerospace, a Bangalore-based uh, manufacturer of uh, tooling, uh, precision components and mechanical sub-assemblies. Um, we are a three-year-old company. Uh, we now export 100% of our product to uh, companies in the US, uh, France, Germany and the UK. Um, and I'm here today at the 14th International Conference on Energizing Indian Aerospace Industry Flight Plan, plan for the Future. So I have been speaking at one of the sessions on the, um, the opportunities that SMEs provide to OEMs and uh, some of the Indian Defence customers and equally some of the challenges that SMEs face in trying to, uh, to grow their business. Now we've, we're fortunate that we've started out as um, securing uh, customers on an export basis, mostly in the civil aerospace industry, uh, and that's given us a great market to tap into. Um, and we're now looking to leverage our capabilities into the Indian defence market, which is partly why I'm here today. Um, but a few observations on some of the challenges that Indian SMEs face, uh, and equally some of the advantages that they provide. So, um, observations on uh, SME advantages. Uh, one, they are uh, very flexible, very agile, uh, very lean management structures, so they can react very quickly. Um, clearly, they have a much, much lower cost base than big OEMs, um, and, and can, can, can provide cost arbitrage to, to, the, to those uh, potential customers. Um, India definitely got a great culture of entrepreneurship, innovation, um, and can also do that really, really quickly, react quickly to solving problems. Um, so those are some of the really sort of key things that uh, Indian SMEs can offer to the global marketplace. Um, I think in terms of some of the challenges that they face, then um, at the top of the list I think would be market access. Um, it's very difficult for them to try and navigate their way through uh, an OEM to find out the right buyer, you know, find out what the opportunity might be. Um, so, so market access is, is clearly a key challenge. Um, access to technology um, in terms of how they continue to innovate, not just around the product, but also in terms of how they use technology to reduce cost, how they use technology to improve quality, how they use technology to, to reduce lead time, all of which are key things that any um, global OEM or global tier one um, uh, customer is going to be looking for from, uh, from an Indian SME. So access to technology is key. Um, I think other challenges that they face, clearly there's a cost of capital issue, um, particularly when you combine that with the defense procurement times that India faces and some of the uncertainties and when those orders will materialize. So, so clearly having a, um, you know, trying to access the civil aerospace market is, is a key way to sort of counter that. Uh, other challenges I think would be around the use of uh, digital. You know, so how do SMEs um, make their companies digital? It can be fairly sort of complex, be a bit bewildering perhaps to some. Um, but you know, in India particularly, price points for digital are really, really coming down, um, and SMEs really need to capitalise on that to uh, make their business digital, make it more efficient. Um, you know, make it make it, make sure that they can be um, very clear on their traceability in terms of what they've done. And then I guess linked to that, equally production system. So how does an SME develop a very good production system that can support um, delivering a game on time to the right quality to future customers? So, so those are some of the, I think, challenges that uh, Indian SMEs face. Um, and how do we potentially you know, address some of those? Um, clearly around market access, um, we need to make sure that SMEs use some of the uh, industry bodies such as SIDM who offers really good services in terms of um, you know, sending delegations to things like the Paris Air Show that can really help um, get access to, uh, to some of those bigger, cu bigger potential customers. From a technology point of view, you know, there are some institutions that are in India that are now starting to try and engage with SMEs, um, such as CSIR and NOW, um, and we really need, again, would encourage SMEs to make more and more use of that particular uh, capability. Um, I think in terms of other uh, ways that we can help solve the problem for, for SMEs, um, the OEMs, um, quite a few have actually come to India this year that I'm aware of and had, had supplier conferences where they've invited in their existing supplier base, they've invited in new suppliers, you know, so they can share with them what they're looking to try and do in India um, and obviously then potential 
um, new suppliers can can really understand and, and have an opportunity to engage with their purchasing teams to, to try and create a new customer. Uh, and equally, I think the OEM should encourage their own tier one suppliers to do um, to do the same. So those are some of the things that I've talked about uh, this morning uh, session.